Have you got a problem with setting up your Z offset? Well, we're going to show you how, and we're starting right now. Hey, welcome to the first layer. My name is Richard. I'm your host here every Wednesday and live stream Saturday night on Saturdays. We take your questions and we answer them live for you during our live stream at seven o'clock Saturdays, uh, right here on the first layer. But today we're looking at the Z offset. And I've been getting a lot of requests to cover this topic. People are having problems getting their Z offset uh, to really line up. And first of all, what is the Z offset? The Z offset is that distance between your nozzle and your build plate at the home position. So when it starts printing, that's where your offset is. Now, why do people typically need a Z offset? Well, if you're adding a piece of glass like we did to this Ender 3, or you've added an auto bed leveling system, you're going to have to set up a Z offset. And there's a few ways to do it. You can do it either through G-code, you can add it to your slicer, or you can do it right here on the LCD screen. And we're gonna show you today how to do it on the LCD screen. It's pretty easy. Uh, in our blog post, uh, you'll, we'll have all the information on how to do it both in G-code and in your slicer. So you may wanna check out the description down below on where you can find that blog post over on our website. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Okay, so Z offset is the distance between the hot end and the Z home position on your 3D printer. Uh, ideally, this would match the distance between the hot end and the print bed as well. Uh, however, differences in limit switch positions, homing probes, and manual bed leveling complicate this issue dramatically. The most common reason for adjusting the Z offset is to allow for the addition of a glass or a thick bed material. On the Ender 3, you can see we have a glass bed here. Um, there's three methods for adjusting the Z offset. One method involves altering the G code and the other directly inputting the offset in a slicer. Um, today I'm going to explain all three methods. The third method is adjusting it on the display of the 3D printer. Uh, and we're going to show you that as well. The key to adjusting Z offset uh, using G code is to home the printer first. Uh, this G code will home the printer to the limit stop of the printer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down into our uh, type line. Here we have prompter face open. This is going to allow us to manipulate G code. First thing we want to do is make sure that we are connected to the printer. We're going to connect and when we connect, we're going to see up in this area right here that we are connected, how much free space we have, initial power information and so on. So what we've got here, um, we can see that we're running Marlin 1.1.6 BL version three. This is the stock firmware from Creality for the BL Touch. Um, because we have a BL Touch on here, we, we can see that the free memory is 981. All right, so we can see we've got some memory to play with. Um, we've got initial power off information on here as well. We can see down here that our bed uh, and our hot end are sitting at uh, a decent level. We can go ahead and we can move things around here. If we wanted to home the Z, we could but it's giving us an error, so G28Z forbidden. So let's home all. So we're gonna home the entire machine. You can see that it's going through that process right now down in the bottom corner. It's dropping its pin. and everything is being reflected over here in our terminal on the Pronterface software. I'll have links to the Pronterface software down in the description below. Now, if we wanted to do this on our own, first and foremost, um, we could either use the tools up here in the corner, or we could go down and type this in to understand how the G code works. When we type in G28, that is telling us that we want to home the machine. Uh, and we're going to go to Z0. Usually you want to make sure that you've got capital letters in here, not ZO, Z0. Then we can go ahead and hit the send and watch what happens.
it is now going to home to that position that we told it to, to go to. So based on what it's telling us, we've now homed it manually and we can go ahead and jump into the next step where we're going to set the Z offset. Okay, so the next set position command uh, can be used to set a manual Z offset for printing. And how we wanna do that is we're gonna clear what we've done here, G28Z0, we're going to go G92 space Z0. And it's important that you do this properly, point one, and then we are going to put in a semicolon behind that. So that's exactly how that should look. And we're going to hit send. So now we have set that particular offset to 0 0.1. So in this case, the printer has set the current position, the home position, to Z equals 0 0.1, as I just said, millimeters. Uh, this will create a minus 0 0.1 millimeter offset in reality. The result is that any movement command after this will be lowered by 0.1 millimeter in the Z axis. To raise the nozzle to print on a surface, you'll want to use negative values of Z for the Z offset. So uh, an example would be Z minus 0 0.1. Uh, this will shift the head up 0 0.1 millimeters. So right now we've done it that way. This is one way that you can do it. The easiest way for most people to do it is heat up the machine and we're gonna go ahead and heat up the printer right now. And uh, we will set that to 210 and we will set our bed to 60. We're gonna go ahead, you can see that the temperatures now are rising. We'll just move this camera so you guys can see. Okay, so let's look at the slicer now and see how we can adjust our Z offset that way. What we're going to do is first and foremost, um, you can do this in a variety of ways from with any slicer pretty much. We're gonna concentrate on Cura because that's what we teach on this channel more than any other slicer. We will be getting into other slicers later on down the road, but for now, we're gonna take a look at Cura. Now, first and foremost, you have to go to the marketplace. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for an icon called Z Offset Settings uh, in the plugins. And as soon as our plugins load, they can take some time, so bear with us. All right, so we're in the marketplace. Let's go all the way down till we find the Z offset. And it should be somewhere at the bottom. There it is right there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click that one. We are going to install the Z offset settings. We'll agree. And we're going to have to quit Cura and start it up again. We'll come right back as soon as it's uh, all started up. All right, so we're back in Cura. And now where we're going to find this is by going up to our um, quality settings here or our printer settings. And we're going to go all the way down to build plate adhesion. Once this is installed, you will see that you had Z offset here. So you can manually put in the number that you want for your Z offset uh, when you start printing. Now that is the second way. Uh, and it's pretty easy to do it. I mean... The problem that you run into when you're doing manual settings is if you don't really know that number, it's really hard to get it right. So you could be playing with that number quite a bit and wasting filament. The easiest way that I have found to do it is very simple. We're gonna go over to the display on the printer now and I'm gonna show you the absolute easiest way to do this. All right, the absolute easiest way to do this is first of all, you're going to need a post-it note. Pretty simple, you probably have some of these around your house or a piece of printer paper. I like using the post-it notes because I find that they are the exact thickness that I need to set my Z offset. So we're gonna take one of those. We are going to heat up the printer. So we're just gonna go ahead and go into our prepare menu. 
We're going to allow the printer to heat up. We're going to preheat our PLA. We'll let that take a minute, and then we will uh, show you how to do this Z offset. All right, so we're up to temperature. Now, the easiest thing to do here is I like to do this warm because you need to make sure that everything has expanded properly. Your bed has to have, have had chance to expand, and so has the nozzle. If you don't do this with a hot nozzle and a warm bed, what you're going to find out is that your offset will be off at the end. So what we're going to do is, again, we're just going to uh, go down to prepare. We're going to home the printer. Okay, so now we're going to take our piece of post-it note. We're going to put it right underneath the center of that bed. And we're going to start to bring down the print head. We're going to go to prepare. We're going to say move axis down to move Z. And in this case, we're going to start with one millimeter. So we can see here on our display, I don't know how well you guys could see that, but on our display, we're set at plus 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start to reduce that by turning it to the left. And we'll go down in one millimeter increments until we get to zero. Now we've got a fair amount of space there. So I'm going to bring it down to minus one. I still have a lot of space. I'm going to bring it down to minus two. I still have a lot of space there. Minus three, it's quite tight. So I'm going to back it off to minus two. I'm going to hit the button. That's going to return me to the previous menu. I am now going to go down to move to 0 0.1. So I'm going to be moving now in a 0.1 or 100 micron uh, length. And I'm just going to test each time as I bring that down by 0.1 increments or 100 microns. And I'm just going to test each time I do that. And I can see I still got a ways to go here. Three was too much. Two point nine is too much. 2.8 is about right there in the center. Okay, so I know that my offset now is minus 2.8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this menu and uh, we'll reset the camera and we'll show you exactly where to uh, add this into your menu. So now we know that our, our number should be minus 2.8 somewhere in there. So we're going to go into our uh, menu screen. We're going to go down to control now, and we're going to go down to motion. Once we go in there, we'll see the very first one is Z offset. And we see that our Z offset is zero. So what we want to do is press our button, and by going left, we're going to go into the minus. So we want to make sure that this is set to two, minus 2.8, and I'm going to add, in this case, um, 10 microns or 20 microns more. This is by far the easiest way to do it. And it's a lot more accurate in my mind than trying to do it through, um, doing it through the G code or trying to do it through your slicer. This way you get it, it's stored on your machine. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're at two. 0.8, and we're just going to wind that right up. So there we go, 2.8. And I'm going to say 2.83 is where I want that. That's going to give me just enough pull on this. Actually, maybe we'll just we'll back that off, maybe to 2.1. Or two, minus 2.81. We're going to hit the button. So that is where it's going to uh, now lock that in there. 
Now we want to store this. So we want to go back out to the menu and we want to store the settings. Once those settings are stored, you will see that we can now take our piece of paper out of there, go back to our main menu, go back to prepare, and now we are going to auto home once again. If you wanted to start a print at this point, you would go ahead and you would load up your software or you would load up your printer with filament. You would start your print and just see how well it is sticking to your bed. If it's not sticking, you have a little bit of work to do. And there we go. It's as simple as that. It's not really hard to do your Z offset and make sure that you've got it done accurately. I know from my experiences by doing it through the menu system here and making sure that your bed is heated and your nozzle is heated, you're going to get a correct Z offset every time. Make sure that your bed is leveled first. If you're not using a BL Touch or some sort of auto bed leveling system and you want it and you're still not getting a good stick to your bed, you may want to adjust your bed so that you're getting the proper drag on your piece of paper that you're using to do your bed leveling with, your manual bed leveling. Other than that, my friends, that is pretty much it for today. Don't forget to go and check out one of these. Yeah, one of these over here. Don't forget to go and check out one of these great videos that will help you out with all of your printing needs. Until next time, my friends, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. Like if you got something out of today's video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I hope to see you again here next time on The First Layer.